Ladies and gentlemen, if you'll take your seats, please. To search, to discover, to develop, to broaden man's knowledge of the world he lives in and the universe around him, to make reality of imagination. <laughs> Project Farm 2050 is a project by Design Dava in which we commission five designers from around the world to design future scenarios for farming. When tallying the contributions from future farmers in San Francisco, five from five designers in Paris, Dan and Raby in London, Frank Chepterman in Amsterdam, and Revital Cohen in London, a multifaceted picture emerges. At present, 850 million of our 6 billion population go hungry in a world that arguably produces enough food to feed everyone. But that's not half the problem. Agriculture is responsible for 40% of human-made greenhouse gas emissions. Half of these are emissions from livestock farming. In industrialized farming, more calories of fossil fuel are used than calories of food that are produced. Deforestation, intensive tillage, and overgrazing also release carbon from plants and organic matter. In terms of transport, the farm to fork distance has increased to meet with consumers' demanding expectations. In terms of economic sustainability, most farmers only break even thanks to government subsidies, and large corporate owned farms have created concentrations of power in the food chain. There must be a more efficient way to feed people and a more environmentally friendly way of harnessing the Earth's resources. This is why we have called Total Farm 2050 the sustainable cultivation of a renewable resource. Over the next 40 years, climate change is expected to turn fertile land into arid and vice versa. Less fresh water will be available to our growing population. Nanotechnology and biotech could raise alternative ways of food production. However, it's not just about being more efficient, but also about increasing production. By 2050, the world population is expected to reach 8.9 billion, with some 80% living in cities. As we continue to seek to reduce carbon emissions, industrialized farming will need a radical overhaul. Imagination is a magic carpet upon which we may soar to distant lands and climes. The participating designers of Coda Farm 2050 look beyond the possibilities and predictions currently in the public domain. Based on 2050, these unique design scenarios challenge our very understanding of human progress. The crew over at Future Farmers started with the past, a case of back to the future. Considering how space colonies imagined in the past have never come to fruition, while existing technologies such as oil tankers are nearing obsolescence, Multinational Feedback Loop seeks to inspire new uses and looks at limitations as opportunities. Items deemed obsolete will be reassembled, merged, and given a second life. Dried up oil fields will be bioremediated, retired aircrafts will become propagation houses, and abandoned ships will be used and re inhabited, or even sunk to become foundations of underwater life. Imagination is a magic carpet upon which we may soar to distant lands and climes, and even go beyond the moon. Designs for an overpopulated planet. Number one, Foragers, by Dun and Raby, considers that the government will not intervene favorably, leaving it up to the citizens to make solutions from bottom up. On the one hand, people will embrace the power to modify themselves and take advantage of molecular technologies and evolutionary processes to create new digestive devices inspired by the digestive systems of mammals, birds, fish, and insects. 
These devices would allow us to extract nutritional value from non-human foods, thus maximizing the nutritional value of the urban environment. Another group will be amateur horticulturists who will wish to expand an evolution, doing things like making flowers edible, pushing plant matter to the limits. Yet a third wave of enthusiasts take digestion to its limits. Every single item that enters the home will eventually, at the end of its use, be digested in multiple, very specific domestic digestive machines. Five point five designers. With more than eighty percent of the world population living in cities by twenty fifty, five point five designers are concerned that our relationship to nature will stop evolving. The guide to free farming positions the urban landscape itself as an untapped natural resource. Restoring the link between consumers and the natural environment, the guide to free farming will include area specific recipes like street flower salad and grilled rat, along with instruction guides to, for instance, plucking a pigeon or starling, just as we once pluck chickens. They would include tips for collecting dandelion greens, snails and honey, as well as guides to mushroom picking and dumpster gleaning, not to mention uses for inspired food. This will become an indispensable guide to urban living. Frank Chepkeman. In creating the cultural and design manifestations of Urks, Frank Chepkeman asks a number of questions. Is self-sufficiency the path towards a more ecologically sustainable society? Can the advantages of a globalized world be combined with aspirations towards physical independence? Mimicking an ecosystem, Urks is completely self-sufficient in energy and water and recycles nutrients and carbon to perfectly maintain its residence. Urks offers three proposals for farm designs. Each proposal uses the production scale as a basis for design. Urks 1 for one person, Urks 100 for a 100 person community. and Urkst 1000 Wonderland as a self-sufficient farm, restaurant, hotel and amusement park for 1000 people per day. Surely in 2050, when electricity becomes vital for survival, our bodies should adapt to sustain it, asked Rev. Vital Cohen. The electrocyte appendix is an artificial organ inspired by the electric eel, enabling people to become electrical organisms. Implanted into the body, the electrocyte cells would produce an electrical current by converting blood sugar into electricity. It is important to note that all of Rare Vital's work relies on thorough scientific research and substantiation. What is definitely apparent when viewing the Proto Farm 2050 scenarios as a whole is that this is not about redesigning farming or changing the planet, but about redesigning ourselves. In order to continue human life on a planet that is changing, in ways larger than human control. These projects show how our behavior and expectations must be redesigned. This inverts the question. It's not about how we can increase the Earth's yield, but how we can live within the Earth's limits.
Swift. Rob Swift. Oh, the scratch. Oh, the scratch. That's it. Get up, dog. Get me now. What you wanna do? Cut it. 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 Cut it.